Hey guys, Devin here, Lifetime Preparedness. So, um, I stopped at the gas station this morning, right? Had to get some money out of the ATM for the bridge. So I had to pay a toll to get over that because I don't do all that electronic, easy pass stuff like Cuomo wants all of us to do. And, um, well, I go to the ATM, I put my card in, and I realize it says something on the ATM. Buy Bitcoin now. Interesting. I didn't explore the option because I was in a little bit of a rush, but I am definitely going to explore the option um, just because I want to see what it's all about. How do you buy Bitcoin at an ATM? Do you put your social security number in or something? Do you, does it get linked to your bank account? I, I don't know how it works. Where do I access it from? I'm going to figure that out. From, you know, lately, I've only place I've used Bitcoin is either uh, through PayPal, uh, Cash App, um, Robinhood. Um, I know you can do it off Coinbase, but I'm a little intrigued, so I'm going to look that, check that out. And, um, you know, if you guys don't think that the world governments are going to be catching on to this, they are. They're going to be installing their own cryptocurrencies, their own, um, you know, what we're, I think within the next 10 to 15 years, if not sooner, um, we are going to have government cryptocurrencies worldwide, if not one, one world cryptocurrency that is controlled by the you know, global elitists who, you know, control the, uh, world banks. And that's just my opinion, um, the way I see things going, um, from looking at history, what I can, you know, tell, but that, that's just my opinion, like I said, but the other thing I want to talk to you guys about. My uh, glorious dictator we have here in New York, Andrew Cuomo, he um, banned the sale, I believe the possession, but don't quote me on that, Or, uh, but I believe the sale of Confederate flags and other hate, hate symbols um, in New York. First off, actually, you know, just because it is your opinion that it is a hate symbol does not make it so. It does not. Just because you disagree with something or something offends you does not make it wrong. Does not make it wrong. There's some things that I'm offended by. So maybe maybe I should be offended by, um, you know, a flag that someone else flies, you know? That's not the southern flag. Um, something relating to having your fist in the air. Let's put it that way. Um, maybe I should be offended by that. But I'm not. Enough to wear... Well, let me rephrase that. I am offended by it. And I think it's a... Mm, terrorist organization, in my opinion. But, regardless... Um, in America, you have a right to fly a flag if you do so with you. Um, and I don't think your freedom of speech... Should be, um... Compromised. I don't think so. But, um... Apparently, the First Amendment does not matter to Andrew Cuomo because he just enacted a law or a decree, whatever he, it was he did. That is a violation of their First Amendment rights to freedom of speech um, by not being able to fly whatever flag they would wish to fly. Um, like, I don't agree with flying a Nazi flag. 
But if you're on your own property, if you're in your own home, I think that is your right. I completely disagree with everything that it stands for. And I probably will disagree with everything that you stand for if you fly that flag. But you have every right to fly that flag in the, you know, in the confines of your own home, on your property, as long as it's not um, directly, um, it's not directed at a specific uh, person or people, um, you know, you know, within reason, um, you know, as long as you're not harming someone else, that is your right. And that's how I feel about that First Amendment overall, except for the Second Amendment. Because without the Second, we won't be able to keep the First. Alright guys, if you want to show support for the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Share with your friends and family, that way we can get the message of preparedness out there. Go ahead and like the video, and uh, check out my Power Other account. It's uh, Lifetime Preparedness, Instagram Lifetime Preparedness. It's getting, you know, getting good over there. Having some fun, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.